All right. Uh, there's a company called Viver. Uh, they recently uh, contacted me to see if I'd like to receive a uh, free throwing wheel, mini wheel, and see, uh, give them uh, a uh, review on my YouTube. Yesterday, I just received this wheel, and uh, i like to see how it uh, works or not compared to my regular size of a brand wheel I've been using for more than 25 plus years and see how this is working. Um, what I received from this uh, box is that uh, they also sent me a uh, basic kit of uh, throwing tools. Um, this wheel here, a setup uh, for the splash pan. Then feel like uh, very sturdy for the splash pan. It's only uh, complaint for that is the edge is slightly sharp, so you might want to use a sandpaper to kind of set it down so it's not too sharp when you are working on the surface. Otherwise, the uh, splash pen is very steady and the setup is, should be very easy. Just uh, slight, slightly more pressure on this lap. Still mobile photo, yeah, that splash pen here. Um, it's good. Um, the wheel head, the size of the wheel head is about uh, 11 inches, 11 inches. And uh, the, the wheel, the head, even I uh, push it at the end all the way, it's not very steady. So you could uh, probably adjust the uh, screw. So, okay, now it's, it's good. Okay, now it's good. And by the way, before I uh, put it on there, I'm going to see that the height of it. This is quite low and compared with my regular size. Let me get a, a tape measurement to measure how high it is. Okay, this is around 14 inches compared to my regular one. My brain wheel is about 21, okay, all the way up to the uh, splash pan. It's much lower than my regular wheel, so if you want to use it, probably this is good for maybe for little kids, but for adults, probably it's too low for that. Um, you can use a bricks, uh, some bricks or some kind of wood, put it on the, on the base to raise it up, so it will be easier for you to work on here. Or we can put it on the table top, on, on the table, and it work on the table too. Okay, let me move it up here. Okay, so here is what the inside look like. Uh, very simple motor here. Um, it's a bell drive. Okay. The wheel, this wheel looks like it's made of uh, plastic. So I don't know how long this will last. And the bell feels like a very sturdy too. But I just don't know about the wheel that is made of plastic. And I don't know how long it will last. And this is the control box for adjusting the speed. Okay. Um, that is the pedal. And also, you could have a handle to uh, screw it on, so the, you can use your hand to control the speed, or you can put your foot on the pedal. Probably you won't be able to use it a whole lot because this part here, if you raise it up, it's going to be up high, so it's very hard for your foot to step on it. Okay. This one here. Okay, this is probably a good height for you to throw stand up and throw right here. And there's no pinholes here for you to place your pin to put the pin here for your bed. So if you are handy, you can probably drill pinholes here and then put it on. And otherwise, you are just going to throw and then remove it from your wheel head. Or you can use that for the light, uh, light trimming or trimming 
or very light uh, throwing tune. And I don't know how good this uh, will last. Let me check it out, plug it in and check it out. Flip it on. The light indicator is on, so it looks good. And then um, there is a reverse or forward for the direction of the spinning. Flip it on. So it's on reverse. Okay, that's good. You won't be able to see it. Let me put something on top of it so you will see that it's spinning. Good. Okay. All the way. All right. Okay. One is going to four power. Slightly noisy, but not a very loud either. Okay. And slightly uh, bumpy. One is on the uh, higher speed. Speed is fine. Okay, good. Okay, normally you don't throw on the full speed, so I it should be fine. Okay, about uh, clockwise. Okay. Pretty much the same as the uh, counterclockwise. Okay, so that's good. Okay, yeah, and uh, if you put it on off, it's completely stuck. It's not spinning. Okay, so small speed, slow speed. Okay, that's good. All right, so. For the initial test, this wheel is spinning and, uh, quite smoothly, a little bit uh, uh, kind of uh, shaky, slightly, slightly, not very, really, very really, uh, awful um, at the full, full power. Okay, let's do a test while I'm standing up and throwing on this wheel, see how it goes. This is about two pounds, a little bit more than two pounds of a clay and let's try to see how it goes. This wheel is sitting on the splash pan. It's probably not very steady for my splash pan. <laughs> Let me get it up. <coughs> Something that is more sturdy here. Some water here. Um, inside a splash pan, there are a little uh, small, like a bucket here. You can put water here. Probably, if you are using a lot of a lot of water to draw, it's probably not enough. You might want to use a smaller bucket here. Okay, and put it on reverse. That's the direction I usually throw. Okay. Some water.
Yeah, you definitely want to uh, do the same paper to send it down. Guess I brace my wrist here a lot and uh, doesn't feel comfortable while I am centering. Centering is easy. Just my, like my regular wheel. And for this price of a wheel, it's it's quite impressive. Okay, for this is like uh, around one hundred fifty dollars. I check it on Amazon. Okay, and open the hole. And while I'm throwing, it's not very noisy either. That's good. Usually, people complain about having too much noisy from my wheel, especially my very old one. When I throw, I'm not using a whole lot of water, so I think the water, the little small bucket there is enough for me. And the only prop, uh, the only drawback for using the handle here is that when you're throwing, your hand is dirty, so this part here will get you know, dirty when you need to adjust your speed. And actually, you need to get a slower speed when you're ready to shape it. I seldom throw my wheel this high. Usually I prefer to throw it a little bit lower. Right, so really quick I throw a uh, moon gel like this. And for the wheel, the important thing is that uh, the speed control is very important. And I think the speed for this wheel is pretty good. You keep on the speed that is very constantly without, uh, you know, set stop or over the piston speed up. So, so it's very good uh, for controlling it. When you also when you adjust it is you respond to your adjustment. Okay, so that's good either. Maybe a much slower speed you couldn't it's very hard to go very very slow with all the certain stuff. So a higher speed is good. So when I start to bump it, it started to speed up a bit, so very hard, very hard to adjust to very slow speed. I stop right here, so and if I slightly pump it up, it start to move real quick. Okay, so that's the um, I mean the drawback for the speed control. And usually I like uh, to do when I'm shipping, I like to do it very very slowly. This wheel is not uh, very good at that. Cut it off.
that is how it looks on the inside of uh, this wood jar. I'm sure if you put it on the floor, it would be more sturdy because uh, this is on top. It's stacked up on top of the uh, splash pan on my brand wheel. Okay, overall, I think it's a good wheel, except for uh, it would be nice if you could put the back pin here so once it's done, you can remove it much easier for compared to go right, right on the wheel head and you can probably throw some clay here and put down your bed or you can throw two uh, pinholes there but when you're doing throwing two pinholes I think there this bump here is too high so your pin might you have to probably cut your pins or use the pin that you can screw it on instead of going and then put the uh, butterfly nuts to tighten it because it will hit that, hit this part here. So that the only uh, problem is this part here is too high, so you won't be able to put your uh, the pin unless you are using a screw and cut your screw a little bit lower, a smaller one. Like this is the, my bed pin, I cut it shorter, so you can just screw it right on. Okay, so this kind of a uh, uh, back pin. Otherwise, you have to uh, remove everything done, remove it and put it aside. Um, that way, there's a technique for removing from there, but uh, if you are not good at it, try to uh, arrange, see if I can, you can put any back pins here. Okay, so that is the review of this wheel, and uh, it's quite impressive for the price. But I don't know how how long this will last because I can see the wheel, okay, the wheel that underneath the, the wheel where the uh, belt is, is going around with the belt that is made of a plastic and uh, I don't know how how long that the plastic will last. Um, but other than that, it's a good uh, hobby kind of uh, wheel for people who are, are interested in making pottery but they don't want to commit a lot of money on more commercial and more standard wheel. They can give it a try. And uh, it's only $150, so it should be fine. Thanks for watching, and maybe uh, later on I will show you how I drill the back pin here on this wheel. Okay, so that is another, uh, if you are very handy, you can do that. Okay. Alright, see you next time.